Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. I'm going to show you how to measure the bore of a brass instrument. This is very easy to do if you have a micrometer and a tapered mandrel. I'm going to measure the bore of a trumpet, but the principle is the same on any brass instrument. The bore size is the inside diameter of the tubing on the cylindrical portion of an instrument. Usually, but not always, the bore size is the same on all of the valve tuning slides and also the main tuning slide. Sometimes there will be two different bore sizes on the two different tubes on the main tuning slide and also there may be different bore sizes on the valve slides too. Usually they are the same size, but if you want to check to make sure, you can just put the tuning slides in the other slides. And these ones fit, so the bore size is the same on all of the tuning slides on this instrument. Because of that, I'm going to measure the bore size on the main tuning slide. And usually the longer tubes are easier to measure because sometimes when you put this in here, the mandrel bottoms out and it does not go on all the way to where the bore size actually is. So I'm going to take that one off and put that one on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this, how far that goes on and pull that off. Then I'm going to take my micrometer and measure this. I'm going to measure the mandrel right up to where my finger is marking it. Okay, so it's right there. Now I'm going to read the numbers on here. If you do not know how to use a micrometer, look in the description below for a link to the video on how to use a micrometer. But this looks like it is 460 thousandths of an inch. So that is the bore size on this instrument. Another way to do this is to use the dent balls. They are in 5 thousandths of an inch increments. So you find the one that fits in there, then go up a size. This almost fits in there. So you know it's going to be between these two sizes. So you can take the dent balls and measure them. This one is, uh, what, 463 thousandths? I guess it's not exactly in five thousandths in increments. And this one is, what, 457 thousandths. So you know it's between there. Doing it with the dent balls is not quite as accurate. So if you have a tapered mandrel, use that. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.